Oh, there's the go live button. There's the go live button. I just gotta click on that and then we're live. Hello all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster and welcome back to yet another Skyward Sword HD stream, part 15 if I remember correctly. You know, I could remember by looking at the title of the live stream on YouTube. There it is. It's part 15, just like it said. Perfect. But um, yeah, so last time was a for the most part, kind of a low-key stream. Um, just getting shot up here quick. I was able to actually uh, do the final trial in the Elden area, which was good. Um, that was kind of scary, but uh, mostly side quests and stuff, which is always good to do. Get Got a couple pieces of heart here and there. Um, yeah, and overall, it's a pretty solid stream. Um, I'm hoping tonight... Okay, so when we left off, right, I was in that Elden area and trying to do those water puzzles, right, to get rid of those flames, which I believe is covering the entrance to the next dungeon. Um, and for that final one, they said I needed some kind of like large container or basin. I did look up what I'm supposed to do because I just couldn't think of it. And to be honest, I wouldn't have thought of it. I literally would not have thought of this if I hadn't looked it up because I didn't remember anything about Lake Floria. I don't remember jack shit about that. So I'm glad I looked it up because that way, you know, we're not going forever in these streams. Um, also, and like, um, one of my friends who was watching these streams was kind of saying, because I kept saying before, with, uh, I really want to try to beat this game before Metroid Dread. Um, he was suggesting, like, going up to, like, three hours instead of the two. I, I might play with that, uh, around with that a little, but tonight's might be longer just because if I do get to the dungeon at a certain point. Kind of like, I think it was part 13 where I did the sand ships. Probably similar, similar to that, maybe two and a half, a little over. Um, depending on if the dungeon takes a while, but that's a good point. I mean, I do really want to wrap up this game, especially before Dread. Um, it sounds like I do have to revisit all the areas a third time, so I'm like... Nice! I already have, what, 30 hours in this game? So, I'm definitely... It seems like I'm taking it slow. Um, which, I mean, it's my first time, so what are you gonna do? Um, like I said at the beginning of any stream, any audio, video issues, please let me know in the chat. I really do appreciate that, because it gives everybody else watching a better quality stream. Well, quality, in air quotes. You know, you, you I hope you don't come to these streams for quality, because you're probably not gonna find it here. Unless you mean video quality, which you know it might be okay. Audio? No. Nah. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of interested. In, I kind of want to get a different mic. But, like, I've, people have told me that they can still hear me fine. So I'm like, eh, we'll see. But, like, I don't know. I I'd, I'd, I'd kind of want, like, one of those, like, legitimate streamer mics. I just have a USB mic right now that's not meant for streaming. It's not meant for... I think it's meant for, like, recording instruments. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if it works, I guess it works. But maybe maybe something something I want, but not necessarily need. Um, so, yeah. Essentially, I was in this area, right? And I was not able to um, proceed much further because of that whole water puzzle. So, I figured out what I have to do. And by figure out, I mean... Oh. I, get, I just gotta leave here in order to get to a bird statue. Okay. I'm trying to think. Was there a bird statue somewhere else outside that's closer? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I'm just gonna head out this way. There's a bird statue over here somewhere. Get that for me, Fireman! Yeah, why can't they play the Fireman remix from uh, Smash Ultimate, from, which is originally from Mega Man 1? Why, why can't they play that here? Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I didn't see the lava there! I didn't see the pool of lava. That's funny. Um, but yeah, okay. So, where's the nearest bird statue? Oh, right over there. Okay. Yeah. Essentially, what I need to do... And I had a feeling that, like, okay, maybe... I'll dig up, why not? I had a feeling that maybe, um... I forget, what, what's the robot's name? The one that we had help us kind of carry some of those heavy stuff, like the propeller that was in uh, Elden originally, as well as the... Ooh, little boogie. Oh, it's the real, little rolling beetle dude. Get over here. Get in my net, boy. Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, anyways, forget that happened. Um, I figured it might have involved that robot dude who carried some of the big stuff for us. Like the, it was the, um, the wheel for Fun Fun Island as well as the propeller that we needed to use in, uh, Skyloft on one of those windmills. But, um, I had a feeling that we had to, but I just didn't know what exactly I needed. Like, they kept mentioning some, like, large container or basin, and I just, like, couldn't for the life of me think, like, what container, what basin would I use, right? Um... Turns out, and I completely forgot this was a thing, in Lake Floria, where the um, the dragon goddess was, uh, Pharon herself, apparently there was a large basin right in front of her that I guess, the, I, I think it was the basin that she was in before we, um, 
I forget what we actually did to help her, but it, it was that she was in that large basin, and um, oh, we uh, that was what we had to get the stupid holy water stuff for from the uh, the Skyview Temple, um, and so she was in that basin. But then obviously, you know, once we gave her that that water, she became herself again and grew massive, so she couldn't fit in that basin over there. But apparently, that basin's still sitting there, and I didn't even think about it. But that's what we gotta use. So. I'm glad I looked that up. Like I said, I honestly don't care that I looked it up because otherwise, like, I would have spent how much time trying to figure that out. I'm just trying to save time for all of you because, like, that would not be fun to watch, I'm, I'm sure. Probably almost as... Um, probably even less fun than watching me do a, the Tentulous boss fight in the sand ship, right? Um, okay, so yeah, I gotta go to Lake Float. Actually, hold up. I'm curious. What the, what the hell was that symbol right there? What is that? The waterfall. Huh. I don't even know what that symbol is supposed to be. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. Looks cool. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. Fall to your death, Link. No? Okay. Am I in the... No, this isn't the place itself. I need to get to... Wait, was I supposed to go to the Floria Waterfall? Ancient system? No. Uh, oh, no, this is it right here. That throne room right there. That's where I need to go. I believe. But I gotta dive under here. Are these eels bad? No, okay, they're okay. They're chill. What is it about this game and making me re revisit areas specifically in the, um, in the Faron Woods? And like like Flory and everything. What is it about this area specifically that I really like? I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought the Ancient Cistern was a great dungeon, but like, very very specific. Okay, it's just right over there. Cool. Honestly, the swimming mechanics aren't too bad. I find these swimming mechanics uh, more manageable than like the ones in Majora's Mask. I know everybody's complaining about the, the, the Zora swimming controls in the 3DS remake specifically. I never found those to be that bad. Yeah, this guy. Let's examine. Bye, I discovered this all on my own for sure. No help with the internet whatsoever. It's a quantity of water's an 85% chance. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Are you mastering the power that dwells in your throat? Yeah, I'm working on it. You wish to borrow my water basin? I have recovered and I have no intention of having to- yeah. Yeah, I don't want you to have to go back in there anyways. I mean, if you're not using it, right? She's not using it. <laughs> Instead of using it to take um, to keep, take care of that water puzzle in Elden Link, should just kind of like bring it back to Skyloft, like to his house and just- ha Or to, to his dormitory, just like have a pool there, you know? Link to enlist the service of the transport robot. Yeah. <laughs> not that guy. He really doesn't like Link. What was his name? Skipper? Was it Skipper? Chopper? Sparky? I don't remember. But he really doesn't like Link for whatever reason. Most of these robots don't, but except for the ones that were on the, the pirates are the only ones that did. Scrapper, that was it. My deep apologies for keeping you waiting. Looks very heavy. Master short pants. Watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero does. He's so full of shit. Shall I wait you in this guy's above? Right, okay, then we gotta fly him over to Elden and drop the basin off there. And that I, that might be the dungeon entrance right there. Maybe, I might be, I'm not sure fully. Um, the other thing I'm wondering is what, like, dungeon item is gonna be in the next dungeon? Because all of our, all of Link's, like, oh, someone has their phone going off. That's fun. Better not be mine. Um... Yeah, essentially... Okay, wh where's the closest? Lake Floria. Okay, I gotta go back there. Um, Is that closer? Eh, you know what? The Floria Waterfall is technically closer. I'll just do that one. But, um... What was I talking about? I don't even remember. The car going off distracted me too much, honestly. Oh, how did I make that? Is it still going? Nah, we're good. It's all good. That's the one thing about public parking out there is, like, sometimes I worry, like, if shit happens to my car. Like, literally, I woke up to, um, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. my time to, um, loud as fuck street sweepers just, like, 
you know, those big, you know, those big vehicles just kind of going around shooting. They were so loud, too, because I'm, I mean, kind of where my apartment is, it's kind of in the middle of, it's pretty much in the center of town. So they have these giants, this is the first time I ever heard them. So I don't know if I was just sleeping really light last night, um, or this is the first time they've been here in the last, like, three weeks. I don't know. But, like, they were super loud, and I was like, shit, like, what if they need to, like, sweep the parking lot right there, the public lot, and, like, they tow my cars, but nah, I'm good. I'm all good. That's the one thing about public parking that makes me a little nervous, but... Hey, it's better than paying 50 bucks a month for a parking garage spot. The parking here was our main concern when, um... Kind of looking at different places to move to, my roommate and I. But, um... That was the only concern, really. I mean... The, the police department here, so far... And from what I've heard from everybody who lives here, like, they don't really check the public lot. It's technically... A lot of it's two-hour parking, but... Um, they really don't check, so I'm just like, okay. Uh... And my car here so far, I mean, it's been a few weeks and I've been good, so. Instead, I would very much like to, um, this is the entrance to the volcano, yeah? Better get there before Master Shortpants. Or, you know, Link's Faster. Never mind, okay. I was gonna say Link's Faster. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Scrapper, our boy, is much, much faster. Um. I have to go all the way, yeah. That sucks. Here's the question. Can I just fly... No, okay, hold up. I almost blew a rotor. This is where you want it. Nope. <laughs> the summit. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh, are we going to have to guide him and take out the archers? Oh, I don't like that. This could be tough. And a moblin. Right, and they're going to try to take him out. It's better get my mitts full. Yeah. Called protect the robot. Yeah, we gotta guide him along. Um, yeah, I didn't really have uh, much else to say about the parking situation. I'd rather spend the fifty dollars instead for a dog because they charge extra extra monthly rent for having pets and everything. Um, still looking into that, but soon, hopefully, hopefully, I'll show. If I got a dog, I'll, I'll have the dog on stream if it wants to be. You make sure none of these monsters lays on one claw on me. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws. Okay, I know. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Where is he? Okay. Oh, so he's just gonna follow me. I have to guide him. I think that's still that's the fastest way, right? So he's just pretty much going to follow me wherever I go. But I need to make sure there's no enemies around that will try to shoot him down and take him out. We're going to go the back way. We're going to go the secret way. In other words, the shorter way. <laughs> I think it's shorter than going... Get him on that! There we go. Then going uh, the other way. Oh! Uh-oh. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up. No, back up! I'll take your arrow, though. Thank you. Ooh, lots of arrows here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Watch out. Can I hit him from here? Ah! Solid shot. Uh-oh. Watch out. There we go. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them up here. Okay. Any more over here that I need to look for? Ooh, they knew. Lots of arrows. They definitely... I feel like they changed up the environments a little here. Maybe. Like, for the most part, it's the same general structure, but I feel like some of this might be different. Get moving, man. It's the short pants. I'll try. They're not that short. I mean, you can't really tell, because he tucks them into his boots. You can't tell how short the pants are, dude. <laughs> I don't think it's an accurate name. Okay. Uh-oh, there are going to be enemies here. Ooh, okay. Question is, can I hit this guy with a bow? He can't even see me. Two arrow hits? That's it? No, okay, I was going to say. Actually, hold on. Let me, tr let me try something. Let me try something. How do I... Hold up. How do I... Okay, I can, where's the controls? That's not what I'm talking about. Bring up all the controls. 
What? Okay. Because, like, I forget how exactly is it, though. What? what uh, I gotta figure out what button it is. I want to do the, uh... Okay, it's, it's... Okay, there we go. Gotta bring it back, and then... Boom! There we go. It's left bumper, draw it back, and then fire. It works going forwards, too. What the heck? Is this guy gonna die or what? Okay, five arrows. Good to know. I just didn't want to take the chances. I wanted to get him from um, from farther away, just because I did not want to risk that. Arrows? No. Okay. I was hoping. But okay. Yeah, let me see. this. I think this is the fastest way up, just this way. We gotta bring him to that other area. Got all the, Gotta go all the way through the summit area, like before, and... Um, Gets up. Uh, do I have an empty bottle? You know, just in case I need it, I don't think I will, but just in case I need some more water. Might as well scoop some up here. And up we go! I still don't know if that's gonna be the dungeon entrance right there. It looks like it could be. But I don't know if it will be. There's a big boy who's gonna pop out of the ground right here. What? He's not here anymore. Okay. There he is. Oh, there's a small boy. Don't play that game with me. Okay, I don't think I can hit them from here, to be honest. Maybe, uh, maybe I can, honestly, if I aim. Aha! Look at that. Okay. Can I get our other friend over here? Oh, we rolling. There he goes. little higher up. Let's try that. Yeah! Look at that. I'm hitting him all from down here. Now that is a good shot. See, I could be okay at aiming. Uh, emphasis on okay. My aim was a little off there. Oh! How'd I get him? <laughs> there he goes. Uh, that's great. What? Hey, what the hell did you get here? Those guys were not here before. Uh, can I blow him off of the Gus Bellas? <laughs> Go away! No, he blocks that. Okay, how about... A whip. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. No, okay. How about a claw shot? I <laughs> just gotta stun some. Uh, you're gonna make me use another arrow, huh? Bye! Any other guys? Oh, there's one guy up there. Let me take him out. Uh, let me calibrate for a second, and... Oh, way too far. There we go. There he goes. Man, 11 arrows, not bad. I got plenty. Okay. We're getting there. This is probably the toughest part up here, honestly. This is because we got to make the trek all the way up, and a lot of enemies are up higher and they shoot vertically. Oh, we got more over here. Okay. Let me save here just to be safe. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, one enemy hits him, then he's just done. Like, that's it. You know what I mean? So I gotta be careful. Definitely need to be careful. Okay. Do I really want to waste my arrows, though? Because there's so many of these guys. I don't know. Do I want to waste them all? Yeah, why not? I'm just afraid of what they're going to do. See, then there's this guy over here that, like... I really don't want to, uh... Do I need to actually go through him, actually, to get there? Yeah, because I can't go over here yet, can I? Is there going to be some kind of, like, weapon that I get or something in the dungeon that lets me, like, cross lava somehow? That's what I'm wondering, because there are a couple places where I feel like that would be usable. Okay, so here's the thing. This guy. How am I supposed to take him out? Can I... Come down here. It's okay, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. It's okay. See, he's just gonna hit me. Back up. I don't want to waste my arrows on him. 
Hello, friend. I hit him once. It's a start. I mean, maybe I could just do some bombs against him, to be honest. Oh, he's coming! Oh, no! No! You get away from my friend over there. Okay. Stop it! Attack me instead. Hey, stop it! Stop it! No! Oh, you're... No, you're done. Don't attack my friend. Why? Well, you should attack me instead. I wonder how much she can handle, to be honest. Come on. Come on! You gonna attack me? There you go. No? Okay. You gonna attack me or what, buddy? Come on. I feel like there's gotta be there's an easier way to take out these guys for sure. Hey, just go right here, right here. Come on. Come on, you're good. It's okay. Come on. Come! There you go. There you go, friend. Right there. Wait, can he really block my arrows that way? Yeah, I was gonna say. Got a little bit of an opening, to be honest. Come on. Oh, if I dodge to the side at the right time, I probably can get it. Never mind, I can't. Okay. One more time. Oh, no. Okay. I can't stand monsters. You're such a weakling, dude. Come on. See, like, I really don't want to use up my arrows, but, like, that's probably my best bet here. Ooh. We can fully charge it up. There we go. I didn't want to use up all my arrows, but uh, that's probably my best bet there. There's probably an actual easier way to do it, and I just kind of don't care to t have the patience to find out, so I'm just going to do that method. Okay. There's probably going to be some uh, choo-choos in here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. I've only got one arrow left, and now i got none. Oh, okay. I got seed pellets, though. That counts for something. Oh, it just stuns him. Well, that's not good. So the question is, how do I get more arrows? Or can I get more arrows? Yeah, I don't want this guy shooting at me. Oh, can I pick up his arrows? Oh, come on. See, it sucks because he has fire arrows, so they're literally just going to burn. And another one of these fuckers. That's nice. That's not good. Hold up. Give me some arrows. Come on. Okay, yeah, let's get him out of the way. Come on, don't don't stand there. Okay, so what happens to him? I'm curious. Oh no, he's blowing up. <laughs> this is what you get for making fun of Link the whole time. Repairing it. Okay, it depends on your definition of trying again. Also, I've only got one arrow now. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. How many bombs I got? This is gonna get annoying. Let me see. Arrows. Arrows. I know there were some arrows down the hill, but I don't have to go all the way back down there, do I? There's gotta be a gossip sent up here, too. There must be an easier way to take out those, um... Thank you. I don't know what that... Oh, a piece of ore or something. Cool. But there's got to be a much easier way to take out those uh, those heavily armored um, moblins. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do it. Do I know what that way is? Not at all. But there's got to be some way. I don't know. Maybe I can parry them somehow? Oh. I already had it equipped. So would you look at that? Okay, these guys... Okay, so they're all... All of them are dead, at least, now, which is good. So it just kind of starts me back here. I just wish maybe it could supply me with some more arrows. Otherwise, I mean, I could go... Eh, fuck it. I'll go back down and get some. Might as well stock up. Because I only got the one left. Wait for me. Hey. You snooze, you lose. You fall behind, you on your own. Um, no. Yeah, see, the thing is, it's going to be all the way down. That one spot down there that had all those arrows. 
Ah, oh, there's no way I'm gonna make that jump. I'm not risking that. See, does any tall grass in the Elden area actually give you stuff? Like, I don't remember it actually giving you any items. But, um, I don't know. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because it's dead grass, so it just doesn't give you any items. Maybe that's the explanation, but. Don't tell me they're already all dug up. Oh, fuck you, man. Okay. Never mind. That was a waste of time. Man, I love when games, like, save my progress, including, like, items that I already collected in the overworld, and I just can't replenish them. That's always a fun time. What do I have? I've got one arrow. I've got... Um... The, the slingshot doesn't actually do damage. It just seems to stun the enemies. Which, again, brings me to my point. Like, what is the slingshot used for now? No! <laughs> I was not paying attention. Okay. Up we go. Back up here. At least those other enemies are still dead. You know, that's definitely nice. Um, the only annoying thing now is the fact that... Yeah, I just... I'm out of arrows, essentially. And it's not like I can travel back to Skyloft yet. Because... Actually, can I? <laughs> it can't be that easy, right? I mean, it says I can go back to the sky. But I feel like it's going to make me lose my progress if I do. I just have a feeling it's going to make me lose my progress. But just in case, just in case. <laughs> if things get really desperate, then maybe I'll do that. <laughs> but for now, I'll see if I can... Make do without it. See, like, if I could just cross in there, that'd be great. I think there's gonna be some kind of item that lets, uh, Link cross lava somehow. Whether it's like, a maybe something similar to, like, I don't know, the Cane of Samaria from, a, uh, I think it was the Cane of Samaria from Link to the Past. One of the canes let you create platforms in certain areas. Okay, well, I've got one arrow I can take out that guy with. And he was the he was the one who was kind of giving. Um... Oh no, there's another one. Shit, where is he? Oh, I see you. I see you, you idiot. Can I like? Okay, I got an arrow. Good, good, good. Yeah, thank you. Wait, how did he give me an arrow? I thought the fire arrows you couldn't do it. Maybe if you like somehow cool off the arrows, it'll let you. Uh... Can I go around him actually? Hold up, I have an idea. I have an idea that involves maybe getting around this guy. I'm just trying to remember if I can actually get up from here. If I can. Oh, there's there we go. Now I'm getting items from the dead grass. That's interesting. Maybe I can sneak up behind him and take him out. Okay, so the items just seem super rare. Don't... What are you doing? Don't... Hey. Hey. Well, that was stupid, because now he's going to get attacked, and I'm just kind of screwed, aren't I? See, I was really hoping I could do that. Scrapper, how about this, buddy? Just literally back up two feet, and you're fine. Hey, guess who's trying to help you? Oh, yeah. Doesn't stand a chance. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, you want to attack? Bye bye. Shit. Oh come on! It's like a, it's such a narrow bridge, and that's making it so difficult. Get your ass over here. You're done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, but it works. Cool. Okay. Arrows maybe. Arrows maybe. Arrows maybe. Yeah, rupees are cool, but arrows maybe? <gasps> Beetle. I don't care, sorry. What's even up here? Looks like some kind of... Oh, there must be a way to get back up here from farther down below. It brings me upwards, okay. Is he going to survive in this heat, now that I'm thinking about it? I mean, I guess he's a robot. He probably has some kind of amount of heat resistance. 
then again, they're not used to this area. They're used to the little neighbor mine, mining facility, so... Maybe they have temperature regulation, I don't know. Oh god, okay. Yeah, we got uh, enemies inbound, okay. But we're almost there, which is good. Let me take out these keys, because I know they're gonna do shit. Okay, cool. That's definitely progress. Let me see. Ooh, we got Lizal Post, okay. They definitely changed up the enemies for this uh, whole section. Need a more difficult. At least no fire choo choos, though. Hello, friends! Ooh, how did I hit him? I really hate that um, little alarm noise he makes, to be honest. I really hate it. Okay. What? Oh, the other guy was attacking him. I didn't even notice. I gotta pay attention to that. Good thing I saved at that statue right there. That's literally right there. Do better this time. I mean, I could just keep doing this to you and you'll be fine. But here's the question. Do I have an easier way to take him out? I'm gonna guess no. Oh, there you go. I can parry them. That's good. Oh, shit. Should have parried. Hey. Hey, you know what? Oh, wow. That did not take long for the Lizalfos to take him out. Okay, so I really gotta take them out quickly. At least one of them. The issue is that there's two of them, so they're gonna, one of them's gonna gang up on him. These are some smart enemies. I'm surprised. Zelda isn't usually this uh, involved. There we go. Look at that. Very quick. Come on. Come at me. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Okay. Or not. There you go. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Now... Oh, these stupid guys. Okay. I like... Bro Never mind. I, I was about to say I like rolling the bombs at them. Um, not anymore. <laughs> but Reggie, you're the president of this company. <laughs> not anymore. I, I miss those kids with Reggie. I kind of wish Doug Bowser would do something similar. The closest they had was the... Um... Oh, Fire Choo Choo here? Nice. The closest they had to that with Doug Bowser was um, when they first introduced him at... Was it E3 2018? Might have even been 2019. Actually, might have been 2019. Um, where they introduced Doug Bowser. And they kind of had the whole skit with Bowser. That was that was cute. Um, not exactly the same, but you know. He seems like a good enough dude. The fact that his last name is Bowser is hysterical. I just love the irony of that, but... It's all good. Okay. Sure, I'll take a blue rupee. Why not? Any arrows, though? I would love some arrows, to be honest, if they had any. Beetle. No. Okay. They don't like giving out arrows, do they? Arrows seem a lot more difficult to come across in this game compared to... Um... You know, compared to previous Zelda games. Especially, I mean, I'm so surprised we got the bow and arrow this, this late on in the game. Hey, Gorko, we're good. We're good. We got it. Yes. Get rid of that water, pour it in there, and you are good to just dump that thing wherever. Woo! Yay! I think I think that's the dungeon entrance. I think that's it. Thank you, Scrapper. Did you see that, Mistress Five? I saw it too. I'm proud of you. You know, you're a douche most of the time, but I'm proud of you, dude. I recommend proceeding ahead. It's got to be the next dungeon. It very much looks like it. So cool, we're done with that whole thing. I would not have figured out that the, the water basin and the Lake Flory is what I was supposed to use. I would not have figured that out. And I am sorry, but like, first of all, I'm sure it would have made watching this stream even more painful if I was like constantly just taking up so much time just searching for that thing. And B, I don't have the patience for that shit, so if I want to look something up, I'm going to do it. There's nothing you cannot do. Hey, Gorko, you're very inspirational. I appreciate it. I think it's the next dungeon. It's got to be. Oh, yeah. You can tell by just that intro animation. Good timing on that. I'm happy about that. Down we go! See, I'm wondering, maybe I'll make some of these streams longer. I mean, I did start late tonight, so I'm debating... I'll probably go to at least 9.30. Maybe even 10 p.m. my time. 
the fire sanctuary. I guess it's, it, I gotta see how long this is gonna take. But I mean, especially if I'm gonna, if I really want to try streaming. To, I mean, okay, I'm streaming three times a week until I finish this game. Um, and then, yeah, you know what? I, I, it's it's okay if I overlap a little bit with Metroid Dread, to be honest. Um, what I'm gonna while I'm streaming this game, even if I'm switching off with Metroid Dread when that comes out, because I want to start streaming that immediately when it comes out. Um, even if I end up switching off, I'm still gonna do three times a week. As soon as I'm done with this game, I'm going down to twice a week. That's essentially my plan. Um, if that changes, I'll let you know. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's kind of what I want to keep it as, because. I mentioned it before, I just want to do other stuff with my time. And, I mean, three times a week still isn't a ton, but, like... And it's worked out for this game especially, because it's such a long game. Um, I want to stream... You know, I want to I wanna do other stuff with my time, so... Even play other games outside of this, too. Is that a claw shot I'm seeing? Oh. I just kind of hit it, and it... Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to get some kind of item that's going to essentially do what this is doing here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, they're temporary. Good to know. Um, very good to know. But I was actually testing out last night the Bluetooth functionality for... Um, that they just... Re I don't know how I made that, but okay. <laughs> I thought it went too early. Um, I was testing out the Bluetooth uh, with the... Thir uh, I think it was just the 13.0 update for the Switch. They just had the other day, and I tested out with my, uh, I have some Raycon Bluetooth earbuds, which, um, okay, let me dump this water out, because I don't care. Get the fairy. Scoop, no, scoop it, scoop it! Scoop! There we go. Um, see, I've always wondered how they determine, like, the hitbox for, because you, you don't have to be exact. If you had to be exact, it'd be a pain in the ass to use. Um, but, like, scooping up fairies and bottles in Zelda games, like, I wonder how they detect that, you know? The hitbox must be very generous for that. Um, but yeah, I was testing out uh, the Bluetooth with them, some Spyro 3 last night. I started playing that on the Reignited Trilogy. Um, after, you know, I had streamed Spyro 2, what, just a, a few months ago. Um, is when it finished up. That was right before this game I was streaming Spyro 2, but... Um, played a little bit of Spyro 3 last night so far, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, from what I can tell, the consensus is that 2 is better... Um, or that people like to more. At least that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Bye-bye. At least I don't have to worry about scrap or getting hit now. Do I just have to take the platform all the way over there? Oh, okay. I didn't even realize it goes along with the, uh... It goes along with the current gotcha. What? Okay, wait. Can you not... You can't hook shot onto chests in this game? Oh, interesting. Or just that specific one, it's not gonna let me. I don't know. All right, how long is this platform gonna last though? Okay, I've got plenty of arrows. Nope. You guys go bye-bye. Oh, you fell right in, that sucks. I'm sorry, but not. How do you get- what? Oh, where did you- what? Wait, wait, were there three guys right there? I did not see that. Okay. I'm surprised that one lasted that long, but that's good. If that platform lasted as long as it could, because otherwise I'd be screwed. At this point, honestly, I'm kind of wondering- oh, it's just a key. Okay. I'm kind of wondering what, um, if they're even going to have an Nintendo Direct this month. You know, we're already... We're at the mid-September point. I mean, it's weird because... I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's been weird with COVID and everything, you know what I mean? But, like, even last year, they still had... If I remember correctly, they had the Mario Direct in early September. They had some kind of partner showcase as well. You know, so they've had... And, like, the year before, we had the, um, the Direct that I think... I think that might have been the one that announced Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition... I know it announced Terry for Smash, and there was the whole Sans thing afterwards that everybody's freaking out about. Um, myself included. Oh, this- whoa! No, it's gold! The exit at last! Who are you? What's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts. I am on a quest! I seek the grail! 
The name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Magmas. Oh, okay, he's like their boss. Okay. He's an old timer. Okay, he's gotta have some kind of experience. You might just surprise me. Where it is tunnels, one of the tunnels is that there's a huge treasure hidden in here ruins. So there's gotta be some kind of, yeah, like, um, a dungeon item that maybe, like, creates platforms or something. That's what I'm guessing. No one's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you, but... Pretty much, I'm just gonna go for it. You don't even know what kind of quest I'm on, Gold, but I might as well find whatever treasure he's talking about while I'm at it. Every manga worth a handful of knows this one. Here we go. Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this in the path below. Okay, so there's going to be two statues looking at each other, and I have to jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Okay. Get yeah, last holler one of them. I mean, that seems pretty specific. I feel like that's decent instructions to be able to... At least, all I gotta do is find the statues and then hop into the mouth of the sleeping one. Sleeping with its mouth open. Ooh, that's not fun. I've done that before. Like, occasionally I'll do that and then I'll wake up with, like, a super dry throat and it's just not a fun time. Okay, so that's 100%. That's the entrance to the boss. I'm actually glad it, I'm I'm actually kinda glad and surprised it didn't take too long to get to the dungeon entry, uh the dungeon here. So I can actually take out the take care of that this stream. I think my favorite part about this game is the dungeons. I mean I guess it's kind of usually the favorite part of a lot of game, Zelda games. Um but for me specifically, like Majora's Mask, I also really actually like the side quest in that game. Um, those guys are terrifying. Oh, he's got an axe? Whoa. Right by you. Oh, hey. Did I say you could hit me? I don't think so. Um, like, Majora's Mask, like, uh, I enjoyed the side quest in there, especially the 3DS remake, like I, I've mentioned many times before, because of the Bomber's Notebook. It just made it a lot more fun to keep track of everything. Hmm, where does this go? See some area down here. Yeah, I'll check it out. Why not? Um, oh. That looks... Like, fun. Kind of. Not really, because there's a lot of lava there. Um, is the lava going to rise on me there? And what is this? Can I shoot through? Hmm. That doesn't seem to do anything yet. Is the lava going to rise up somehow, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah, it's rising. Where is it going? Oh. Oh, what the heck? What the heck is that thing? <laughs> what? There's also a little alcove right there, but I don't think I can get there yet. Do it again, I wasn't looking. Interesting, okay. Looks like a little lava hand is coming out of the, uh, out of the lava there, but ooh, nice. Lots of more arrows there. I definitely want those, because they seem kind of tough to come by. I definitely should try to upgrade the, um... I definitely should try to upgrade the, uh, the quiver if I can to get, like, a larger one. I see you! Zap! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of some of the side quests in this game. Um, I like the exploration, for sure, and the, uh, the dungeons are actually really good. I really like a lot of the dungeons. Um, they seem, honestly, the, some of the dungeons in here seem a lot more memorable to me than, like, um, other games. Specifically, I'm thinking, like, I don't remember a ton of the Twilight Princess dungeons. Am I supposed to be down here? Actually, I just want to make sure I don't go down there without checking everything first. Um, nah, it seems like it. Okay, where am I now, actually? The bird statue, that's a good sign. Um, but, like, the only dungeons I can really remember in, uh, Twilight Princess, I'm trying to think, like... There was the... I kind of remember the one where you get the spinner and you fight, fight against the... Is it the Twilight Star Lord or whatever it's called? Um, that I kind of remember. The, the I do remember the, the ice one, which was kind of cool. Probably one of my more favorite 
uh, like snow or ice dungeons in Zelda with the uh, the one that's kind of in like the Yeti's house. That boss was terrifying. Holy crap. Um, the city, I was the city in the sky, is that what it was called? I don't remember the dungeon. I remember the dungeon a little bit itself, but the boss fight against Argarok, oh, that was so sick. I remember that boss fight. That was so cool. Um, I really liked that boss a lot. So I, I, I vividly remember that boss fight and like doing the dual claw shot and swinging around in the sky. That was so cool. And, like the, the thunderstorms in the background. Uh-oh. Ooh, the purple is all post. It's gonna be even tougher. Okay. I don't have Scrapper holding me back this time. That's okay. The Fatal Blow. No, don't tell me that's it. <laughs> How do I, okay, I don't know what exactly triggers the Fatal Blow to happen when it does, but like, I somehow pulled it off there. I don't know if it's random or only against certain enemies, or it might just be the way that I hit them with the sword. That's probably what it is. Um... But there we go. That did it. You done? Good, Hasselhoff. Okay. That better not be the mini boss. <laughs> Just that little part. I doubt it is, but we'll see. Ah, uh, one of you guys again. Hey, guess what? I hate you. Get out of here, frog dude. Ooh, rupees. Can I... Okay, do I have to use the beetle? Yeah, I have to use the beetle. But the beetle, I, it's fully upgraded now, so it's a hell of a lot faster. Thank you, my friend. Okay. So I can create a platform there. Another one of those bo uh, frog dudes over there. I can't reach him from here, can I? Nah, rats, I can't reach him. Oh, there's something up there. Hold up. That's, ooh. Well, I can reach you, that's for sure. Get out of here. Oh, hello. No, I did what? I did not mean to use the Gust Bellows there. Oh! Where did you come from? I, I, I did it again. Ah! Just for that? Arrow to the face. Oh, no, the Dark Crystal fell in there. Oh, well. Um, okay, that's the last guy. Can I take him out with an arrow, actually? That'd be very nice if I could. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Let me see. That looks like something I could do with the beetle, to be honest. This upgraded beetle looks so cool, by the way. I love how it looks. And I love that I can actually, you know, speed it up. Oh, is that it? Wait. No, there's gotta be something back here. Come on, what's back here? I know there's something. Oh, that's it? Okay, if you say so. Okay, there's some bombs up here. That's cool. Nothing really else, though. Nothing I can see, at least. Okay. I need to... I don't want to waste any arrows here, so just, like, yeah, hit one of these guys down. I wonder if the lava's gonna... Why well, I almost fell off. I had to run into the lava. I wonder if the lava's gonna... What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, never mind. I guess it's not gonna... Oh, you know what? That looks like... That looks like something I gotta... Oh, you know what I gotta do? Hold up. Okay. I feel like we haven't had a beetle puzzle in a while, so this is good. Where's the hole? Oh, rats. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a second. Okay. So that all connects up there. Gotcha. Okay. I definitely need a bomb. Hopefully not hit the wall. Hopefully not hit the wall. Hopefully not hit the wall. <laughs> no! I got so close there. Okay. Fire! There we go. Okay. So that's going to raise lava in here. I was wondering. It kind of looked a little suspicious. Um, or maybe not raise the lava, but it's going to let it flow so that platform will actually move now. Or it should at least. Let me see if that did the trick. I hope so. But yeah, I'm honestly, I'm kind of thinking, kind of going back to what I was saying before. Is it going to move now? There we go. Um, going back to what I was saying before about the direct. We, we can still get one next week, honestly. But, like, if it's, if it's not next week, like, unless we get at the tail end of September. It's, see, it, 
I, I like, like, I enjoy, you know, casual speculation about, like, Nintendo Directs and stuff like that. At the same time, like, when people are like, oh, it's gonna happen this week, it's gonna, it's like, it's just, honestly, it gets super annoying, because it's like, oh no, someone's, wait, was that one of our friends from before? Silva? Why does he sound familiar, the name? Who was guarding him? What? No, I'm gonna help you, dude. <laughs> I'll just kill him on the spot. Um, but no, so like... What is that? Is this- does this hurt? Oh yeah, okay, it hurts. <laughs> Good to know. You never know, that's, that's how they- that's how they learned in the past. You know, the cavemen, they had to, uh... They had to just interact with things, they had to touch things, they had to touch fire in order to realize that fire was hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see about the direct. I don't know if it's even gonna happen this month, to be honest. It really doesn't have to. I know everybody's like, oh, Nintendo's always had a direct in September, so they have to have a direct. They really don't. Like, they don't owe us anything. I mean, would it be great? Of course. I mean, it's been three months since E3, you know. But at the same time, it's also like, what would they show besides, I mean, they... I guess they'd show, like, early 2022 stuff, right? Like, Splatoon 3. Um, what am I actually supposed to do to get around here? Can I latch on to the lantern? No. Uh... Oh, hold on. There's another, another thingy here. Not that it's going to do anything, but you never know. Just rupees. Okay. How? Is there a hidden uh, hookshot that I'm just not seeing here? Yeah, because I'm definitely not going to get that that way. Unless the gust bellows can take care of that, but I doubt it. Is there anything I can grab onto from here? Not the lantern. Well, I doubt this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. Oh! Wait, okay, it does work. I didn't even realize. Good to know. You wouldn't really think I'd be able to blow away, like, molten lava, but okay. If you say so, Skyward Sword. If you say so, I'll believe you. I'm sure the team did their research. <laughs> Very realistic. Okay, so what am I supposed to do to free him? I have a key. But, like... <laughs> I'll knock him into the lava! No, okay, I can't do that. Um, there's a locked door back here, so I probably just have to go in that way, to be honest. I did just get a key. Yeah, I think I have to come back for him. Sorry, buddy, I'll free you another way. But, they, they really don't owe us a Nintendo Direct or anything like that, so... It could happen, it could not. If it doesn't happen, oh well. I mean, they've got plenty of time to announce the last Smash Fighter. Um, they probably would talk about Splatoon 3 at some point, but, like, Metroid Dread's also only, like, almost two weeks out, so, like... Would they? Uh, what I'm wondering is, would they really have a direct like right before the release? I mean, they've been marketing it plenty on social media, so like that's probably fine as it is. Um, really cool to see, by the way. I love that they're actually. What are they supposed to be used for? They're just kind of grown here. Can I? Can I somehow like? Um. Like, is there a way I can carry those fruit without cutting them down and maybe use that to create a platform? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Some way to store some of those plants, and then I can use them to create platforms later. Scoop it up in a bottle, I don't know. I hear something. Is that a choo-choo I hear? That's a choo-choo! I still really want to know why they called them choo-choos. Ah, okay. I feel like there might be a way, there's gotta be a way to carry this plants. What happens if I use the beetle on them? No, okay. Completely missed. Unless it just doesn't act on them at all. Oh, it just goes right through them? See, they have little targets on them, which makes me wonder... But see, no, then it just, like, uh, falls down, so... There's gotta be a way, though. You know what I mean? I feel like there has to be a way. Ooh, a little chest, okay. 
Uh, I don't have any empty bottles, do I? No, okay. I do not have any. But I will gladly take 20 rupees. I honestly, I couldn't even tell you who the last Smash character is going to be at this point. Like, literally, who knows? It could be anybody. I don't even want to speculate, because I'm like... They have so many, like, cool characters in the game as it is. Like, they really... It could be anyone. It honestly, it could be a first party, too. I mean, maybe that'd be a little less exciting than a third party, depending on who it is. I mean, honestly, certain first parties, like, I'd be so down for Dixie Kong. Um... I don't have any water on me. There's something sus like there's gotta be a way to like actually carry those fruit. I feel like there has to be. There's so many of them around here. There's gotta be a way. That one especially looks suspicious. You know what I mean? It just looks very suspicious right there. But at the same time, I don't know. Is there a way I can, like... I can't grapple onto them or anything. I can't... Hmm. I'm genuinely curious as to how I would do that. Gus Bellows? Doesn't do anything. The beetle didn't do anything. Can I just, like, kind of net it up, maybe? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a shot. Uh, I do have a bottle, but I don't want to use it up. I don't know if I can actually... I don't want to waste anything there. I'll whip it off. No. I'm genuinely confused about how I actually do that. I right, can see, there's this guy here. Mm. Oh! What the heck? Whoa! Okay. Interesting. I can just kind of stab them. Can I throw it? Okay, there we go. That was cool. I knew there had to be something with that. Interesting. Very interesting. So if I really wanted to, I could, like, stab the guy and then... Okay, so that's what the target's for. So you kind of just stab it and then go, okay. And I could bring it over to the other platform, honest, Or bring it over to the other room. I can make some platforms to get through. Okay, so it's not an item that creates platforms, but... There we go. One down. Two down. There we go. Everybody's dead. It's a death party. There we go. That's dark. Not too shabby. What time am I at? 8, 12? Okay. I'll probably go... I'll go to at least um, 9.30, honestly. See where I'm at after that. Maybe I'll do a little more. We'll have to see. Just because, I mean, if I really do want to uh, complete this before Metroid Dread... I mean, I wouldn't mind if I have to switch off with Metroid Dread in this game, but... I'd rather just get it done. I've, I've been streaming it for so long. It's been two months since it came out, and I've been streaming it on and off since then. Not consistently, but, you know... What is going to happen here? This looks a little scary. So, what is about to happen here? Okay, hello. So are these enemies I have to take out? Okay, that's on a level I can actually uh, manage. What happens if I do this? Ah! That didn't do anything, okay. Is there only one of them? I was kind of wondering if that, uh, the plant was going to take care of it, but I guess not. There has to be a way. Nope, did not mean to do that. Hold up. Okay, so now what? Can I just, like, chuck it at him? Hmm. Maybe I have to wait for it to, like, create the platform. Right, maybe, and then I... There we go. There we go. Turn it to stone, it doesn't stand a chance. There we go. Is there gonna be more? Oh, no, okay. I kind of liked him. I don't, know, I don't want to get rid of him. I, li I liked his little hands. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, well. Sorry, buddy. I had to do that in order to proceed. But Okay, Silva's at least save. Yeah, give me a second, Silva. I'll help you.
It's just the question is how do I... This, no, okay, there's a locked door where? Up there? I don't, oh, it's gotta be like way far, no, oh, it's below me, I see, okay. Um, where actually is he relative to here? That's what I gotta figure out. He's over that way, okay, maybe this, oh, you know, this door connects to the previous room, okay. There we go. All making sense now. Sometimes, like, you just get enough through, like, a Zelda dungeon and everything just kind of clicks. The switch was all the way down. How would anybody even, like, what if they, how did they, like, <laughs> I have so many questions. The switch is literally where the lava was. Like, how would they have done that? Huh. Okay, I don't know what the point of that cutscene was, but okay. Oh, I'm going to get some kind of item that lets me burrow. Right, I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Okay, I think this is the switch I need to do to take him out. It's just funny that, like... Oh, okay. I'll whip it good. There we go. Come here, Silva. <laughs> Long John Silva. He's bouncing on his tail. Look at him go. He's a bro. What are, what are those? Are those like some kind of crates he has with him? I don't know what those are. Are you looking for treasure? Yeah, sure. Why not? I can see it on your face. Yeah, the Legend of the Sleeping Statue. Right. I got to keep that in mind. I got to remember that as we go through the dungeon. Some busted old... Oh, is he going to give me upgraded ones? Oh, okay. So it's upgraded digging mitts. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. They've been in a buried treasure chest. They ain't dirty or anything. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the clean cleanliness is next to managerliness, as they said. Bye, Silva. Nice talking to you. Okay, so this is what's going to let me burrow in those holes. Okay. Oh, magma mitts. Okay, so they're just they're just upgrades to the digging mitts. I wonder if most of the items from here on out are going to be upgrades to what I originally have. Um... Could I really not upgrade? I guess, like, it's weird, because some items you can upgrade, like the beetle and the bug net and the slingshot, but then others, like this, you just kind of receive the upgrade. So it's interesting how they do that. Um, they also let you burrow your way under the ground. Right, and it has to be specific holes, like that one over there. Um, I don't remember seeing any others before. Did I ever get the dungeon map, by the way? I don't know if I ever did. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, okay. Kind of like a... Oh. What the heck? There's a whole... There's a whole maze down here. This is weird. Can I not? I can't go for those crates, huh? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let me try this guy. No, nah, okay. There's steel crates. Can't do them. This reminds me of some Bomberman stuff. You want to get a look above... Oh, okay. And then you can also... Interesting. So then, oh, that's super cool. This, you know what this reminds me of? I mean, okay, the digging part reminds me of Wolf Link and Twilight Princess. There were some areas, I'm pretty sure, where you could dig using Wolf Link. Okay, that is, I'm guessing I need a bomb to destroy that. Um, the question is, what happens when I run into a bomb? I don't know if I like the idea of attacking it. Oh, okay. I was worried it was going to explode right away, and I was very worried about that. Okay, and it looks like that's the way out. I want to explore a little bit first, though. I don't know, kind of cool. I like it. But th this part kind of reminds me of some of, like, the Morphal tunnels in, um, in, like, Metroid Prime. Some of the Morphal puzzles he had there. Obviously a lot slower with these, <laughs> with Link crawling through <laughs> using his little mitts, but that's cool. Okay. So I wonder if every hole that's, like, out there that I can burrow into is going to be like that, but... That's kind of cool. You know what I am liking, though? Is, like, one thing about this game that I'm noticing right now is that... Oh. It's another hole to burrow in. Okay. Interesting. Um... What does that do? Oh, it looks like I have to access it from the other side. Okay, that's fair. Oh, no, wait. I can go around here. Duh. What is that, though? Is it gonna, like, explode those other crates or something? Oh, it's a switch! Interesting, okay. That's cool. 
And that's going to affect it above ground. Awesome. Okay. Some cool puzzles you can do with that. I like it. Um, what the hell was I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> that's what happens to literally every stream. Oh, yeah. So, essentially, what I do like about some of these dungeons is that they're still incorporating a lot of the previous items you get from, uh, you know, from previous games. So like, in this case, for example, um, you know, I've had to use the whip. I've had to use... Did he use the claw shot? Maybe not. Um... The bow, I had to use the gust bellows again, the beetles, so like they're actually reusing a lot of the items, which is cool to see because sometimes the Zelda items can be pretty situational, especially, you know, I think back to the, um, the, the dungeon, I forget what the dungeon was actually called, but the one in Twilight Princess where you fight the Twilight Star Lord, I think it was called, and, um, you get the spinner item. That item is so situational, like, I love it in Hyrule Warriors, but like, besides that, um, it's just, it's, it's, it's very situational. Um, the Dominion Rod was kind of the same with that too, like, um, you can kind of just control the statues and that's pretty much it. A lot of the items in this game are multi-purpose, which I really like. Um, oh, does this connect to a previous area, maybe? I don't even know what this is. I don't even know who you are. Where is this? Oh, this is where he fought the Lizalfos, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Coolio, Coolio. Okay. Oh, why do I still have the, uh... Why am I using that shield? No. That shield's gonna burn up in two seconds. I should, yeah, be using this guy. This guy. Um... Uh, oh. Cool, okay. Um... Yeah, okay, this is the way I came. So, let me... Ah! I'm so glad. I, I, could, I really could have used um, a bow and arrow when I revisited the uh, the Skyview Temple with those stupid green bokoblins who had bows, by the way. I just didn't. I really could have used bows at that point. But um, unfortunately, the game was just like, nah, not for you. I'm like, thank you. Um, okay. Let's see what we got here. Have I been down there before? That doesn't look like the same- Oh, what the- Where did that come from? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, we got some butterflies, though. That's that's good, at least. Where did that come from? Mystery Bokoblin, where are you? Okay, should I actually try to draw a heart this time? I can try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Upwards, Link. Ready? I'm actually gonna try this time. I'm gonna spend a lot of time. This is gonna be- a very, very good heart. Okay, you ready? Okay, I overshot it that time. Ooh, lots of rupees. I didn't recognize it as a heart, I guess. I don't know. It might be fixed. I don't know if it's a fixed thing or if it literally changes depending on what you draw. I don't know. It'd be cool if it did change, but I... Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if that game actually incorporated that into the uh, into what you get there. Yay, arrows. Cool. Okay, now... Okay, what I really want to find out is who the hell shot me down. It's got to be over here. But I don't see where. I'm probably going to get shot down again, to be honest, but... If I could be quick about it, maybe not. Oh, I see you. I see you, fucker. Got you now. Shoot at me, come on. Hit me! Okay, there we go. Ooh, I got his arrow that time. So I guess you can collect the arrows if you're fast enough, it looks like. I didn't even realize you could. I thought with the fire arrows, it just kind of burned out and you were dumb. Interesting, okay. I still have to get the map. I have no idea where the map is. I might have just missed it earlier on. There's another one? What? Who's this? How many, like, treasure hunters got caught in here? Come on. Who's this? What, what's your name, buddy? Bronzy? I don't... These aren't the same ones from before in the, uh, the Earth Temple, are they? No, okay, I don't think they know. I need... I need right now is for you to get me off this chain. Send me free and I'll tell you the big, gigantic secret about this room. Okay, fine, Bronzy, you got me. I'll tell I'll, I'll figure out how to get you down. It's a secret about treasure. Okay. He knows somehow. Okay. Let me see. Is it time to burrow? Indeed it is. Okay. 
Um, oh, this is a big maze. What the heck? I'm afraid that there's going to be like, um, kind of like in uh, in Wind Waker, where you would crawl in the, the little vents and everything, and there'd be those rats that would like, would literally, if you ran into them, they would like pull the vent. I I'm imagining there's something in here that's like that, where it's literally just going to kick me out. The question is, where am I actually supposed to go? What does this do? Does this activate? Oh, this activates that guy? How would I get around that guy? Oh, I probably have to go up and around. What's over here? Oh, okay, I probably have to use this somehow to my advantage. Well, that's not gonna do anything for me now, I don't think. Oh, you know what? I probably somehow have to... Okay, is that going to let me get around? Okay. Now the question is, what's over here? Is the exit out here? The hell was the point of that? Does this affect anything on the surface level? Oh, wait, I'm trying to see... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I thought it was just for navigating the maze down there. Okay, so that's... Now I can't get over there. But I... Oh, wait. I can go here, though. Which is more important. So I gotta, yeah, get this guy over to the... Little puzzle over there. Little frog dude. Help me! I need water! What?! Hold the phone. <laughs> okay. I should have tried going in here before, actually. What's even in here? I'll reset the switch after, because there's probably some rupees in there or something. Might as well get them. I like to explore everything I can in Zelda Dungeon, you know? But you never know. Okay, so here's the thing. Check it! There we go. Overhead. I did underhand last time somehow. I'm not sure how I did that. But, uh... Yeah, let me go hit that switch again, because I, really, I want to see what rupees or stuff are in there. It's gotta be something valuable. Um, oh yeah, I need to go down. Sorry. Back down here, into the burrows. What do you live under a rock? Okay, now the question is, oh. It's a different angle this time, that's interesting. It's, so depending on what angle you enter, it'll actually change your view. Okay, the orientation, gotcha. Um, I don't think it was this. I think it's this guy. The one, the gate to the right that I really need to move. That's the one that is blocking that other area I wanna access, so. I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe that's it. So let me move that around. Okay, and then, okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to move this. I don't have any other way around. I'm gonna have to move this guy. Okay, so it looks like I have to move that guy in order to get back up there, but I should be fine. I don't, unless I need that fruit for anything else. If so, I'll just go back in and get that real quick afterwards. Okay. There we go. I was very worried for a second. I was like, did I just trap myself in there? Is this just another burrow? Like, where does this lead? No, okay. Oh, is it literally just a heart? Well, that was pointless. Cool. Okay. Worth a shot. Okay, now... What can I do here? Arrows? I do have max arrows, so I probably... Uh, normally, I'd get arrows there, but I don't need any right now, so... What's that? Oh, it's just gonna free him. Okay. Good thing there's not lava there anymore. Sucker. Wow, Bronzy. Get the hell out of here. I hope you, like, trip and fall on your way. My mama didn't raise no patsy. That's right. I helped your brother. So, Silva and Bronzy. Okay, I get it. I get the play on words there. Okay. Something I want to give you. Then... Okay, so you're actually being helpful for once. Okay. What is this, though? Super secret info that I put together. I had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out. There's a hidden room. Okay, it's a secret. Is 
There's a hidden room here. What's up, Sylvie? <laughs> well, it's not a secret anymore. He knows he's uh Silva knows that we just saved Bronzy too. One of my guys was giving you a hard time. It's all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in the room. Is that what I hear in the background? That's a breeze? I can smell it. The information in this chest. Oh, is it a dungeon? Is this the map? Okay. There we go. There's the dungeon map. Oh, so is that little area over there? Wow, there's a whole other section here, huh? It's a fake wall somewhere. And on the other side of that wall is another room. If you're feeling adventurous, there might just be a hidden route. So, under... I might have to burrow underground, he's saying? Okay. Because, yeah, it looks like... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting anything in there. Oh, wait, what? Hold up. It seems like this is the fake wall here. It has to be. But I'm guessing, do I need to burrow underneath there somewhere? This is definitely the fake wall right here. So the question is, how do I get over there? It sounded like he was saying I might have to burrow in order to get there. Maybe I gotta blow it up with a bomb, it's always usually worth it. Or like, you know, sometimes then you'd have the fake walls in Zelda, you gotta tap the sword along the wall to see if it sounds different. Oh, or just a bomb. That works too. This is the first like hidden wall in the game, at least that I've found. Oh, we're burrowing now. Wait, I wanted this. No, go back. I want to see what was up there. I want to see what was up there. Was there anything I missed? Okay, but I can't. I can't reach up there. There's a chest in that room too. Okay. Good to know. Okay, let me see. Rubies. I'm just waiting for like. Wait, what is that? Hold up. Something's moving over there. Oh yeah. Oh, what is that? Are those scorpions or something? Holy crap, I don't like that. <laughs> I do not like that. What the heck? Yeah. There's some kind of scorpions or something. If they're like, no, can I, I can, I can hit him, right? I can totally hit him from here though. Yeah, that took him out. Oh, I used, there was, um, this reminds me of like a flash game I used to play where you like go after the, uh, you essentially, you play as a caterpillar kind of thing, and you have to, like, you you have to eat more caterpillars in order to get bigger. Kind of reminds me of that. Okay, where is he going? I don't know if I can catch up to him, honestly. Do I need to, though? If he sees me, he's going to come after me, but I don't think he will. I guess I don't need to kill him, really. I'm sure I'd get, like, like a lot of rupees or something if I did, but I don't care enough. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Okay. I'm guessing just a pee. Nothing probably too crazy. Yeah. Big is Okay. So now... Where am I at? In here. Cool. Was there um, a locked door somewhere that I couldn't get to before? I think there might be somewhere. Okay, I probably have to... Yeah, you don't have to go that way. Okay, yeah, because I can't even get anywhere from here. I have to go back there. Cool, 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 cool. I'm guessing there's probably gonna be one more. Uh, are they called magmas? Is that what they're called, the creatures? Because there might have to, there might be one more that I need to uh, rescue. And we got the bronze, we got the silver, we got the bronze. Where's the gold one? If I drop here, oh, interesting. I'm actually not gonna. Hmm. How do I get back over? Wait a second. Hold up, hold up. How do I get back over here? So if I drop here, 
Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I wasn't gonna make that drop. Okay, never mind. We're good. All good. You never know. It's all about depth perception, honestly. Sometimes I get it messed up. Cool. Okay. Oh, this locked door. Right, I forgot about this one. Perfect. Okay. Making good progress. Making solid progress. Maybe, depending on what time I beat the dungeon, I might just do a little more, like, side quests and stuff afterwards. You know, just to, um... You know, uh, get a little more done in the stream. Especially if I, if I really do want to try to get this done before Metroid Dread. I mean, I'm not opposed to switching off with this and Metroid Dread when that comes out. I mean, if it comes to that, whatever. I'm not gonna stream more just to get it done. Or, like, you know, more days during the week. Maybe make them in a little longer. I mean, to be honest, they've been a little longer anyways recently. So I might just... Uh, do like maybe two and a half hours instead of two hours but really if I don't finish it before Metroid Dread like whatever it's not a big deal I'll just switch off with Metroid Dread and this and then once I'm done with this which to be honest by the time oh okay did not see you guys there we're having a we're having a fire party or something up here what is going on oh oh how did that last one not land that's not have aimed up high enough there we go or didn't charge it long enough Interesting, okay. Yeah, so the, the Sacred Flame's there. Is that where the locked door is then, maybe? Somewhere over there? But, um... Yeah, like, to be honest, like... I mean, I feel like I'm going at a pretty good rate. It does sound like I am still going to need to, um... It still seems like I'm gonna have to... Um... Revisit each area again a third time. To get to, like, other dungeons or something. Um, which is fine, honestly. Um... It feels like this game's longer, gone on longer than it actually has. Like, to be honest, I mean, I played for 30 hours, which is a decent amount, yeah. But, like, at the same time, it's like I've definitely been taking my time with some of the side quests. And, like, even though I've been technically streaming it for two months, it's been very on and off. You know, so much like moving into a new apartment, getting a new job, dog sitting and everything like that. A lot of stuff has come in the way. So, honestly, I'd, I'd be close to finishing the game now if I was a little more consistent, but... Consistency isn't always the answer. Sometimes it's literally not in the mood for a stream. This week, I was definitely in the mood. I was like, I want to just crank this stuff out. Um, getting two dungeons done this week. Like, that's kind of crazy. Um, this isn't a burrowing spot, is it? No. Okay. Um, you know, but, like, last week, I was not feeling it. It's like, if I'm not feeling it, it's not going to be a good stream, you know? <laughs> not that they're necessarily good as it is, but... <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, like... Ah! Whoa! I kind of want to... Oh, I gotta wait for this stuff to, uh... Be done. Does it deal damage, or does it just not let me use items for a bit? I think it just kind of curses me and lets me not use items for a bit, it seems like. And eh, I don't want to waste arrows. I'd rather waste bombs. I have way more of them. Perfect. Is this a burrowing spot? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell. Whoa, okay. Okay, I gotta blow that up with a bomb. But I have been thinking recently, I mean, because eventually, you know, I do... Oh, there's another guy down here. Is Let me guess. Golder. No, it's Platts. Okay, just Platinum. Okay. I'm gonna skip Gold, or is Gold gonna come later? Did we already have one named after Gold? I don't remember. They're all named after, like, some kind of minerals. Was that worth really hitting, to be honest? Oh, where's he going? What? He trapped me. You dingus. Why'd you trap me? I'm not a monster, I promise. I like the purple hair he's got going on. You're on Magma Turf now, Fiend. As long as the way ahead of me is clear, you'll never catch me. The way ahead of him is clear, so what does that mean? I'm gonna blow this up while I'm at it. Do I- I'm guessing I probably need to block him somehow. With that, uh, with that gate. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my friend, uh... We're kind of blocked off here. Is there any way- do I have to maybe race him, hit the switch, and then race him back there? Let me see. He's gonna do it again! Ah! Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is, so I gotta block him off somehow. How? 
How did he see me, actually? What if I just wait for him? Oh, he's going down. He's being sneaky. I'm gonna wait for him, then I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna catch him off guard. Ah, oh, he saw me, okay. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Can he really see me from here? He can, okay. Yeah, I didn't realize he could see me. Where are you going? <laughs> I gotta, okay, I gotta time it right so that it, like, blocks him off somehow. That's what I gotta do. So I just gotta figure out the timing on that, and then he just literally won't be able to get out. Ah! A bomb! Get down, it's a bomb! We've got to get out of here! Oh, I can- I didn't realize I could go fast. Okay, that would help. So here's the thing. Is that... Well, okay, what I probably have to do, because every time I cross that, he notices me. So instead of going that way... Oh. He's just pushing the switch again, okay. Is he just gonna notice every time, man? That's a little crazy, not gonna lie. Doesn't like it when I push that switch. Let me wait for him to move a bit. He's literally just gonna wait for me. Interesting, okay. So every time I hit the switch... Yeah, he's just gonna hit it back every- that's so annoying. That's super annoying. He just waits for me to hit the fucking button? Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. So... Okay, but going over here triggers him to move? I hear him moving now. But where is he? Oh, he's speeding up. It's like he knows I'm going towards the button. He knows. That's funny. How am I supposed to catch this fucker? Come on. I could give you a bomb! You don't stand a chance against me! Oh, you just- okay, I got him. <laughs> you got me! I'm not- dude, I'm not a monster. Ain't those from my brothers? Is everybody related? He gave me them. You gotta- <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them. Gotta speak their dialect. You're all green, I thought- I mean, I guess- okay, to be honest, like, if he thought Link was a green Bokoblin, I would have done the same thing and been like, get the hell away from me. I fucking hated those guys so much. <laughs> I hated them so much in the Skyview Temple revisit, that was so stupid. Notice how I haven't revisited any other of those original dungeons. Notice how it was just the Skyview Temple and how stupid and a waste of a time that was. <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna shit on this game for that. That was like the one thing that I'm still kind of pissed off about. Otherwise, like, that's, like, one of the only major complaints I have. I'm not great with the- I'm not fully great with a lot of the motion controls, but, like, that's mostly on me, to be honest. Um, it probably is more accurate on, on Wii, I would imagine, though. You know? Kind of built for that, but... I'm heading back to the boss's place. So what was the point of that switch to begin with, with the door down there? I don't know. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, plants. Oh, that's what it did, okay. Cool. Uh, I'm guessing it's another key, right? Or it's the... No, it's not going to be the boss key. Hmm. Thank you, Platts. I very much appreciate pieces of heart. I'm actually... In terms of pieces of heart, I'm actually looking pretty decent right now, I think. Because if I'm about... It seems like... Okay, according to my friend um, who's played this game before, like he loves this game... Um, it seems like I might be just about two-thirds of the way through the game, which means I still have a decent amount to go. Um, but if that's the case, then I feel like... I just gotta get over there, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, where's the other locked door? There's a door over there. Maybe I can get there. Oh, no, I didn't... Okay, I, I was thinking I got a key. I'm like, I got a piece of heart, not a key. Um... Is that guy moving? Oh, yeah. But yeah, so if I'm about two-thirds of the way through, I mean, and looking at my heart count, like, that seems like it might be decent. Um, oh, I, I guess I haven't been over here before. Oh, I must have gone through that door before. Okay. 
So, I don't know, maybe I'm looking good in that department. I, I really, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning on 100% completing this game. I mean, like, I'll get whatever piece of heart I can. Um, supposedly, the, that digging mini game and the, um, the Bamboo Island mini game don't actually give you pieces of heart. So, I'm honestly wondering if it's even, like, worth doing those, to be honest. I tried both out enough. Like, if it's, if I'm not gonna get anything of value from them, I mean, unless they're, like, actual, like, items I could use for something. Oh, is there going to be another one of centipedes in here? Those guys are a little scary, but it's also fun taking them out. Um, if, if it's not going to give me, like, a necessarily, like, a reward that's, like, a, a, you know, I mean, like, a piece of heart would be good, but, like, if it's just, like, digging one's probably just rupees, then, if I had to guess. You should win whatever rupees you get. Oh, wait a second. Oh, shit. That's not good. Am I supposed to do that? Ooh, that's definitely not ideal. I am going to run back. Was I supposed to do that? Go, Link, go. Oh, I'm good. I can't tell if I was supposed to do that or not. What did that do? Oh, okay, I was. Okay. I was just supposed to blow that up and escape out of there. So now the lava down there is flowing. Why not? We'll save. And then from there, okay, I can use that fruit guy. The thing is, I'm wondering, there were some areas... Like, I'm specifically thinking there was one area in, like, the main Elden volcano area where, like, you know, there was that large gap of lava, and there was a door in there. And I was like, okay, so maybe I could get an item that creates a platform, you know, that will allow me to get over there. But, like, if it's just these fruit that do that... Ah, you're making me use the... Uh, can I use my slingshot at least? There we go. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I need to go down there and then go on the platform. <laughs> that would do it. I gotta go back. Wait. Or am I... Wait, I don't have to hit it from there, I don't think. No, okay, I'm good. Now I can reach you with the claw shot, probably. I just don't want to waste ammo if I don't have to. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There we go. Now we can get over there, finally. But, yeah. I'm liking this game so far. Like, I'm thinking, I mean, it's still... I mean, even if I'm, like, just about two-thirds of the way through, like, it's still fairly early, it feels like, to really say, you know, rank it with some of the other 3D games. I mean, to be honest, it's probably not going to surpass Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time for me. Those are probably still going to be, like, my top two 3D games. Um... To be honest, like, I don't even know where I put Breath of the Wild in comparison, because it's such a different game. It's almost, I almost can't really put it in the same tier as the other, you know, more linear, traditional, dungeon-based 3D Zelda games. You know what I mean? It's, it's such it's, it's such its own thing that it's almost just like, I don't know, at least for me personally, it's hard to really rank it in terms of the other games. Like, I think Majora's Mask is still my favorite, but then... And Ocarina of Time is still, is still enjoyable. Um, I think I like this better than Wind Waker. But the question is, do I like it so far? But the question is, do I like it? I don't know if I like it better than Twilight Princess, to be honest. Um, then again, I mean, I'm only two-thirds of the way through, like I said, supposedly. The Bridge of Decision. Choose the path you believe in and move forward bravely. What the heck? Huh. I don't get it. What's the, uh... Am I supposed to shoot those things or something? No. Okay. Oh! This is the, um... Right, okay. This is the one I'm gonna have to jump in the sleeping jet. Okay. To the guy on the left. Can I do anything else while I'm here? Is the question. Because if I can do other stuff, I don't want to, like... Bombs away! If I can do some stuff here, I'd rather do this first, but it doesn't look like I can, actually. No, that's blocked off. I think I literally just- I have to go for it. Let's do it. So it said to jump into the sleeping giant's mouth. Which is the guy in the- or the sleeping statue's mouth, which is the guy on the left, so... Okay! We're going. Woo! Oh yeah, look at that. 
I chose. Oh, it's ice. What the heck? <laughs> I chose correctly. Yeah, I'm guessing if I didn't know that ahead of time, that would have gone very poorly. We got here another wall or the. Okay, I was gonna say that or another gossip stone. Let's see if I can actually draw a heart this time. It's just because the controls are a little off for me. Like I just can't fully draw like a perfect heart. You know what I mean? Like I draw that and then I draw. Oh, there we go. That was the best one yet. And I got bombs instead. It must be fixed. It's got to be fixed, but I did need bombs. Or maybe it just kind of replenishes whatever the lowest, um, you know, whichever uh, item you have the lowest ammo for. Oh, we got two Lizalfos. Okay. Now this is getting interesting. Woo! Oh, look how fast this boy is. There we go. One down. They can't withstand the shield. I really gotta get better about pairing with the shield, because that's really gonna save me in a lot of places. Bye bye. And it's look, it's not even depleting the durability either, so clearly it works. That's just what I gotta do. Give me your soul. There we go. Okay. Ooh, this chest over here. Is this gonna be like the boss key chest, maybe? Or just another key or something? I don't know. That's where I gotta go, right? It's nowhere else. Okay. Up we go. Let's see what we got in here. That's a thing. Hold on. I just want to double check the YouTube end just to be safe. Just to be safe. I've got no viewers. What? As someone was viewing for a few minutes. Then again, it's really. I, I what I've noticed is the views tend to like rack up on the um. Right, on the vo it seems like people mainly watch the VODs, which is totally fine with me, by the way. Like, if that's how you watch. Like, I mean, that's normally how I watch live streams, too. I'll watch the VODs, like, later. Um, but one thing I don't... One thing I don't necessarily... I mean, I'm not I'm not selling myself pretty well here, am I? Uh, but one thing I, I don't always enjoy about live streams is, like... I mean, ooh. Play that link. There we go. Um, I, like, okay. I'm personally someone who doesn't interact with the chat too much to begin with. So, for me... If I'm mainly watching for the content itself, or the people who are streaming, uh, which is usually what I do. There we go, you ready? Oh, there we go, that was decent. More bombs, okay. Um, for me personally, it's like, the thing with streaming is like, if I'm not there to really chat, or like, specifically interact, like, directly with the streamer, as they're, you know, playing whatever it is they are. Um, then it's like, I mean, it's kind of... The one thing I, I've never really um, enjoyed about those streams specifically, like, you know, is actually being there, like, on a specific schedule. So, like, if you're not wa if you're watching the VODs instead, like, I completely get that, you know what I mean? Because that's kind of how I watch the streams, to be honest. Um, just kind of skim through a bit and uh, watch here and there when I can. Because, like, especially being on a full-time, uh, whoa, where did you come from? No, 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 move over, move over. There we go, okay. That was scary. Okay, come fight me now. We're good. You can come kill me now. No? Okay. What happens if I try to claw these guys? Oh, I did not mean to claw the grass there. Woo! Okay, there we go. Oh, come over here. Come on. Is that a dark crystal again? No, just a ruby. Come on. Come up here and get me. Or just stay down there. Whatever you want to do. But yeah, because I'm not someone who usually interacts with chat, and I usually watch the VODs, it's like, having, the streams are on a, when, you know, like, for example, I, I, if I'm streaming, you know, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, two or three times a week, you know what I mean? It's like, personally for me, it's like, sometimes hard to make a schedule like that work. So that's what I really like about YouTube, is that, I don't know how Twitch works with its VODs, I know it's possible, but I don't think it uploads right away. With YouTube, it's nice, because literally... It's like you're live streaming a video that's recording, like, live in the moment. So it's kind of, like, nice that immediately when you're done streaming, it uploads the VOD. You know what I mean? So it's available right away for everybody who wasn't able to watch live. I really like that a lot. Um, and I don't know, having everything in one place, like, I, and I also just don't like Twitch. I've talked about how I just do not like Twitch. Um, Amazon owns them. Fuck Amazon. And just, I don't know, some of the... It seems, okay, I will say... I mean, there are a lot of, I've seen a lot of instances where, like, they don't listen to, uh, 
community members, but sometimes they do, like, especially with these hate raid things that have been going on with Twitch. Um, I've never seen it happen to myself in person, but I know it's really bad. Supposedly caused by just a couple of people with, like, bots and, like, spamming that shit. Technology's scary, by the way. Um, like, it, it did seem like Twitch was actually taking some action on that, which was good to see, because they don't always, I guess, but... YouTube doesn't do shit, from what I can tell. They just ban everybody. <laughs> That's what I can tell. They just copyright strike everybody. Bring light to each statue in order with the number of wings each possesses. From least to most. Okay, so how do I get the light in here? Oh, I gotta burrow under, maybe? Least to most. Okay, so this guy's zero. This guy's one. And then we got two... Three and four. So it's like that, that, that. Okay, so it's like, yeah, straight away. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do this underground. Straight away, then top right, and then even more top right, and then down, and then top left. Okay. And that's how I get up there. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta burrow and get it over with. Let's go, Link, my boy. Yeah, so this guy. And now top, like, up and left. I mean, this guy right here, up and left. Now I need to go even... Oh, sorry. Up and right, I meant. Now I need to go even more up and right. What is that? Are those spikes? That's not the one I want, but... What I can... Uh, I'm afraid that if the bomb rolls over that, it's going to count it as pressing the switch. But then again... I think I have to... Uh, is there a way to go around here, maybe? No. Okay. I think, okay, I think maybe I will be safe then if I just roll the bomb over the switch. Because otherwise, I mean, I'm not seeing another way to get around. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way. Okay, so I, got, I think I have to do this. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just wanted to be safe. I was worried that the bomb was going to act as, like, enough pressure to kind of, uh, activate that switch right there. But okay. I want this guy. Oh. When are those spikes going to open up, I wonder? I'm worried about them opening up. Then this guy. And now that last guy. There we go. They're gonna open up as soon as I'm done with this, aren't, aren't they? And now those spikes are gonna clear and he's gonna come after me, isn't he? Yup. Figures. Oh, he's a hungry boy. Okay, I gotta plan this out right, okay. Come over to me. Come over. Oh, he's not happy at all. Yeah! Oh, I was so close there, actually. Shit. Where's he going? Oh, he's going in circles. Shit. Is he really gonna circle me? No way. Okay, well, at least he doesn't see me anymore. Oh, so close. Hold up. Okay, I gotta regain a little bit of stamina. Okay. I'm taking him out. I think I have to, actually, in order to beat this. I'm gonna avoid that. Shit, which way is he going? Is he going right? No, he's going up. Okay. Bye-bye! Oh, what?! Nah, bro. There we go. That's it. He's gotta be dead. There we go. Good night, Moon. Still reminds me. I think it was, um... Oh, what was it called? Crap. The, I can't remember the website. It was a mini game that was like, was it Fun Brain? I think it was Fun Brain, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Like back in the old days of like um, browser based flash games and stuff. I'm pretty sure it was like a, it was a, like a, a bunch of mini games mixed together. Um, if any of you know Mighty Guy, I'm pretty sure Mighty Guy was also one of the mini games. They had a mini game specifically where you play as like a centipede or a worm. It kind of looked like Moldorm, honestly. It looked a lot like Moldorm from, you know, uh, Link to the Past or a lot of Zelda games. Um, and you specifically had to eat the, like some of the other worms to get as big as possible. Um, and so you had to like eat them from the back, I think it was the way to do it, because they could also eat you, and if they ate you, it wasn't good. But I think it was like the more... Each time you ate a different worm or centipede, it would um, your body would grow bigger. You get more of those circles on you, and the more if you had more circles than you know the opposing worm or centipede or whatever the hell it was, like you would eat them. But like it, it was actually kind of tough sometimes because like they'd throw in like a bunch, like two really big ones at you, and it would just you kind of get cornered if you're not careful. 
Man, I wonder if Fawn Brain still exists. Apparently, I learned like a couple months ago that Pop Tropica still exists, which I think, which I think is associated with Fawn Brain. I think it's like the same. Um, okay, I'll collect you. Why not? Not that I need you. Um, I don't have any empty uh, bottles, and I'm pretty sure potions actually heal more in this game than the fairies do, if I remember correctly. I think the potions are eight hearts, whereas the fairies are just six. I think I'm good. That's it, right? Oh, what? I missed some. Hold up, I missed some chests. What? Since when? Well, I'm gonna go back there and get the chests. What the fuck? <laughs> Let me save first. What the heck? I didn't even realize I uh, I missed those chests. Oh, well. Let me go get those first, and then I could... Yeah, it's, it's 9 o'clock now. Okay. So I'm at least going until 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, for sure. I don't really want to go past that, to be honest. But, um... Actually, can I even get back there? Hmm. Uh, okay, I can get back there from up there. Okay. I definitely want to get those chests. I, I'm kind of mad at myself that I missed those. But okay, I can get there from here. But yeah, Pop Tropica still exists. If you ever played Pop Tropica, that was a really fun game. I really liked Pop Tropica back in the day. Um, especially during, like, we'd have, like, an after-school program, and that was one game I'd play a lot. But even at home, I'd play. They had, like, essentially, if you don't know what Pop Tropica is, I mean, most of you probably don't. It was... It was more of like when I was growing up as a kid, but um, it was a browser-based flash game where you like chew, you make an avatar, and there's a bunch of different islands you can go to, and each island had like a different he uh, theme. My favorite was the superhero island, island where you had to take down like a specific number of bad guys, and then you could actually gain superpowers. So you get super speed. I think by the end, if you got all the way to the end to beat the game, you unlocked the ability to fly around, which was really cool. Um, and it's it's a point and click game, so you're like pointing and clicking into control your character. Think of, like, um... Essentially, think of, like... I guess, like, for example, like, Phantom Hourglass on the DS. You know how you use the stylus to control Link to move around and stuff? It was kind of like that, but with, you know, the the mount, uh, the mouse cursor to control. Aw, oh, they respawn. What the fuck? Um, you know, you'd use the mouse. I want to go back. It's my right. Hello, friends! Um, you'd use the mouse to control your character. And there were a bunch of different island, uh, themed islands and everything, so... Um, yeah, there was that, there was, um, there's a comic, isn't it? I think it's called Big Nate or something like that, that's, like, not, like, super, super old, but I'm pretty sure that was also, there was an island for that, I remember. Not a Charlie Brown island, I don't think, though. I mean, they've probably introduced so many more since, but, okay, there's a little chest there. I don't know how I get over there, though. Uh, maybe I gotta claw shot my way up there. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. No, I guess not. Okay. Um. To be honest, I don't even know how I'm supposed to get those chests. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. I think I gotta go all the way back and the chest is off to the side there. Question is, how do I get over there? Whee! Oh, okay. Ah! This guy. The big hand dude. Okay. How do I get up to that area? No! Dude, come on. Just lift me up, please. Up we go. There we go. But yeah, so that was really fun back in the day. I really enjoyed that game. There really wasn't much gameplay to it. It's really just kind of point and click kind of adventure seeing where you're going but and the islands were fairly short too each one might take like an hour or so like nothing too crazy okay so cool but now where do how how do i get back to that area how do i get there i legit don't even remember how to get there i mean i what i could do is, like, go back outside of the dungeon and then come back in. But, like, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, know what? Hold up. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Ah! Not that. <laughs> not supposed to do that. Ah! Hey. You need to chill. You need to chill out. Yeah, come on. Come lift me up, dude. There you go. Good boy. I killed your friends before, but I didn't kill you. I spared you. 
Thank you for your patronage. Yeah, honestly though, I still, I'll still i probably just end the stream after this dungeon just because I'm already at the point where it's like... It's gonna be like 9.30 p.m. Eastern or a little after by the time I'm done. Which is totally fine with me. Um, I'll mention this at the end of the stream, but I'm actually not gonna be able to stream this weekend, unfortunately, just because um, I'm gonna be out of town for pretty much most of the weekend. Oh, what the heck? See? Oh, okay, so maybe I got a, is there a switch down here I can open? Um, yeah, let's switch over there. Speed it up, Link! Um, okay, there we go. But yeah, I'm going to be out of town for most of this weekend. I'm going to be visiting some friends from high school back at home and uh, also seeing my nephew again from... Um, so I have three nephews now, and this one's from out of state. They're... Um, my, my brother's son, who uh, he and his wife, they live in New Jersey, and so I guess they're out here. I think they're on their honeymoon, I think. Um, I don't think I've been this way. What the heck? Maybe this is why I didn't know where to go, because I haven't explored this area. Um, oh, you know what? I Yeah, I totally missed this area before. I completely forgot about that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so they're from like New Jersey, and I think they're in... They're somewhere in the Northeast for their honeymoon. And, uh, yes, my parents are watching. This is the second time they've been watching, um, my nephew. He's, so he's the, he's the youngest of all the nephews, and, um, I don't get to see him that often. I've only seen him once in person before, so it'll be nice to see him again. Um, hey, there's another chest. Yeah, how do I get the other chest there now? That's the real question. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Oh, I got an idea. Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. That's what these fruit are for. Do the little poke. Do the poke. But yeah, so I'm excited to see them. Um, but yeah, as a result, I'm just not going to have... Unfortunately, I just won't have any time to... Oh, no. All right, can you move, please? Please, maybe. Go away. No! <laughs> I think it's because I was stuck on the wall there. I got to move it out of the wall. Move it away from there. Um... But yeah, no, I'll be excited to see him. But yeah, it just unfortunately means I'm not going to be, um... Hey. Go back under. Go back. It just means I'm not going to be able to stream this weekend, unfortunately. And like I said, I want to get through Skyward Sword HD, but at the same time, it's like... I just wanted the time to stream, unfortunately, but... It's all good. Family comes first, always. Family and friends, always, for sure. But next Tuesday and Thursday, I should hopefully be good for streaming. I don't think I have any plans then, so... That's honestly that that'll be a nice thing about if I do stream twice a week. I'm gonna i I'm gonna keep it to just the weekdays, like because you know, sometimes sometimes a long day after work, just kinda chilling for a bit with um I gotta go do I have to go all the way back around just yeah, just to get the uh, the fruit, huh? That's annoying. Um Yeah, that'll be nice if I I was thinking just Mondays and Thursdays going forward. Once I'm done with this game, um that's what I'll do. That's what I was thinking. And it'll be nice because, yeah, that way... Okay, let me try to actually, like, not hit the wall this time, if possible. Wait a second. Hold... No, hold the phone. That's totally what I'm supposed to do. But why is it not... I... No, no, no. Why is that not flowing? Maybe, do I have to kill this guy in order to do that, maybe? Because normally the lava would be flowing and I create a platform there to get it to move over through, yeah, through the hallway. But maybe it's not... Hmm. <laughs> or... I have another possible idea that involves the beetle. Maybe. Wait, what was that actually? I saw some rocks up there. What the hell was that? Oh, no. I just those rocks over there. Okay, never mind. No, those don't look like they can be blown up. Okay. I mean, if this... If this, uh... Chest is gonna be a pain in the ass, then I'm only gonna give it a few more tries, and if I don't get it then... I don't wanna just keep wasting time trying to do this and not actually have it work. See, it's just really annoying, because I can't... Here's what I'm gonna do. See, I'm gonna see. 
if I can reach there with the beetle. Because I want to see if there's something around the corner I can get to. Okay, no, it's literally just a door there. That's it. It's just a door. So I need to create the platform to get over there. But if the lava's not flowing... What happens if I kill the hand guy? Is that just going to get me stuck? Ah! There we go. Come here! Oh, I was supposed to wait until he shows up. That's my bed. Hey, come on. Go back. There you go. Oh, see, I gotta go all the way around. This is getting a little annoying. Is there a way for me to, like, hook shot? Can I reach the with the claw shot from over here? How about over there? Ah, rats. I was trying to see if I could reach with the claw shot over there from here. I really want that chest, but if it's gonna be a, this much of a pain in the ass to get it, then I probably won't bother. Run, Link! Ah, rats, okay. Oh, uh, well. I think I just gotta go all the way around in order to get up there. The only thing I'm thinking is, like, maybe did I just not throw it far enough and get stuck on the wall? Like, that's what I'm just, that's what I need to figure out. To be honest, it's probably nothing crazy. It, it could be a piece of heart, but, like, then again, I really don't care if I'm not going to be able to just... If it's going to take this long to try to get it, I, I don't know if I really want to try it. Um, let me try one more time, though. None of those rocks can be exploded. I'm trying to see if I can maybe make the lava flow a bit more, and that's what I need to do. Then again, I could also try to kill the the hand dude and see what happens. He's probably just going to respawn, but you know Let me try that. Show up. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now you're frozen. What happens when I kill him? Oh. There we go. That was it. Okay. So it's not making the lava flow. It's actually it's solidifying the floor. Don't know how that works, but I don't want to know. I don't need to know. I just want to get here. <laughs> hey, if it's a piece of heart, it'd be worth all this trouble for sure. Oh, can I actually hookshot out of here? That would be great, but I doubt I can. <laughs> I'm probably going to go all the way around again. Oh! Really? I've never seen an empty bottle in a chest before. But that, no, that's good. Because I, I could get another potion or fairy that way, too. If I want to give up. I mean, I could honestly, I could give up the extra shield. Or even even the treasure medal I could give up. I've got plenty of rupees. Um, or sorry, that's not, um... That, I think, uh, that's not for rupees. I think that's for, like, the, um... The materials you get, for, uh, you need for, like, upgrading weapons and stuff. Stop it! Okay. Now I gotta go all the way back around. Cool. But that should be... Good. My completion... The completionist in me is happy now. That's all the chests. At this rate, I'm probably just gonna watch the VOD of this in the morning, because I am tired. Now how do I... Wait... Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, I wasted so much time. I did not think Link could just climb up there. I swear there's some platforms sometimes that I just don't think Link can actually make it up. And he does perfectly fine, so... Oh, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it when that happens. You know, because it's not like Link has the climbing abilities from Breath of the Wild where he can pretty much climb, like, mostly anything, you know, depending on how much stamina he has. But it's like... There's just a limited, there's a certain limited reach you have, but it's like, sometimes it's tough to know. Some platforms are just barely too high so that you can't climb up there on your own. I thought that's what that platform was, but turns out it wasn't. Oh, well. Okay, but now I'm good. I'm going to head to the boss now and then wrap that up and should be able to call it a stream there. Okay, let me see. I can definitely yeah, skip some of this. And then I think if I... Do I need to go around that way, or can I go around... No, that doesn't need anywhere. I gotta go to the left. Right, there's no way to get from here to the the bridge over there, is there? Shut up. You're done. I'm not even gonna bother with them. I don't think I've bothered with them before, because they must have respawned. 
Yeah, okay, no, I went- uh, okay, I know where I'm at. This is where I went before, just going back the same way again. Just solid dungeon so far. Definitely not my favorite. It's not my least fa- uh... Hmm. Honestly? Honestly, the first two dungeons are probably the weakest so far. Shut up! I'm gonna kill you! Nice try! But unfortunately, no sequel for you. But you! Ah! Ah, he got me! He cursed me. I guess it does do a little bit of damage, huh? I didn't even realize that. Good to know it does, but I think- I literally think it's just- you have to wait for it to kind of dissipate. I don't know if there's a way to speed it up. Um, okay, what I- I do need to bring this platform over there so I can get to that main, uh, gate where the boss is. Oh, I got another friend here that I gotta waste an arrow on. Joy. <laughs> gotta love it. Woo! I still- I'm in such- I'm- I'm in shock that Metroid Dread is coming out in, like, is it two? No, I can't. There's no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's three weeks from tomorrow. Oh, so I've got time. <laughs> yeah, I've got time. Okay, I was thinking it was two weeks, but no, okay. Not, okay, three, right? Tomorrow's the 17th. It comes out the 8th, right, so three. Okay, not, not as bad, not as bad as I thought. Hey, shut it! <laughs> Dude, shut up! Okay. Any more hearts over here? Now we got this blue guy. Goodbye, blue man group. I think I've only seen the blue man group once. To be honest, for me, I feel like it's like... I feel like I only need to see it the one time. I feel like it's not really a... Uh, a thing I'd have to go back to see, you know? For me personally, I know other people love it. Um, I thought it was kind of... I thought it was super cool, but like I wasn't like... I'm not dying to go back to see it, you know? Okay, come on. Flip it over, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, okay, other way, other way, other way. Other way. See? Look. That key technically fit in, like, the outline perfectly. I swear the one in the sand ship didn't. And it took me, it took me stupidly long just to rotate the key to get it in. This one was a lot more straightforward. Okay, that one really threw me off. Maybe it's just the shape of it. I don't know. It was like a, I think it was like a seashell kind of shape, or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I don't, I don't study the key shape in every little detail. Is Gear him here? Oh yeah. It's been a while, Gear him. Ooh, nice cape, buddy. Where you get that? The toilet store. Is this a rematch against Gear him? <laughs> Hello, Mario. Hello, Peter. I see you're still on the living. Fancy meeting you here. Seem to bump into each other all the time. Yeah. We are bound by a thread of fate. So he's literally the boss. Okay. I like the cape he's rocking. He didn't have the cape before, right? Is this the first time we've seen him with the cape? I've, or it's just literally been that long. I don't know. Maybe it has been. Look at these old drawings. Gears. Okay. The son of the guard. Until I found these, you were upset. Goddess guard dog. What was that twit? Wow. Never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. Okay, so Garham's gonna try to go into the gate of time, the second gate of time, and get to them. I've been a busy boy. So there's another gate of time. Okay. Couldn't even find a single clue. Got a little sulky. Oh, I'm sorry, Gideon. Never give up. Never give up! He's really one for the dramatic, isn't he? The thought of never getting my hands in that... Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Look at him. Look at Link's face. He's like, what the heck is happening? The prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. Oh, okay. Your adorable friend, she will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. Demise, right? Yeah? Okay. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. So where is the second gate of time? Your punishment. Remember when I told you that the next time we met, I'd make your ears bleed? 
That's a little, uh, that's a little hard. I don't remember, I don't remember you saying that, Gary, to be honest. Perhaps corporal punishment is a touch harsh. You'll strike a deal. I don't know, I don't want to make a deal with the devil here. You tell me where I can find the other gate of time. I don't know. I don't think Link knows either. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That thing in the sealed grounds, that like the old, the ancient one. I, I feel bad calling it the ancient one. Wasn't that actually a gate of time? Right, and that's why we're actually getting the sacred flames, right? Is to be able to activate that gate of time with the powered up sword. Okay, so Link does know. I'm not going to tell you shit, Giriam. Okay, so this is going to be an upgraded form of the last boss fight. Okay. Let's go, gear him. Losing the gloves. Oh. The supple skin of my arms. <laughs> Don't they just leave you breathless? Gear him's looking good, I'm not going to lie. Such a pure form. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie, I really like gear him. I really like his character. I mean, he's a douchebag, but like, he rolls with it, so it's good. What's the one thing you lack, my friend? Oh, okay. Figures. We're bound by that thread. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's do get out. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. Wow. I was not expecting this game to be uh, this edgy. Okay. It's Girahim time to make, uh, number five, fight number two, the Demon Lord Girahim. So I gotta, uh, so yeah, essentially it's kind of similar like what happened before, where I need to, um... I need to, like, keep track of where his hand doesn't move. What? I'm trying to, like, get rid of those little projectiles he has, too. There we go. That's essentially what I have to do. And then, oh, don't like that. I could, I could have totally parried that, to be honest. Oh, now he's kind of circling all around, huh? Oh, that worked. Huh? Okay. I don't know how that works, but okay, I guess it did. Now that I kind of know how to fight him. Oh, he's got the dual blades. Now it's honestly kind of easier to tell what I have to do. Uh oh. Where are you? Oh! You may have outsmarted me there, Gyrion. Oh, that's scary. Where are you? Oh, what? Okay, I, I was trying to reposition the sword instead of, like, actually striking him downwards like that, but it counted as striking him. Yeah, figures. Come on. Alright, what do you got for me? See, like, oh, there we go, hold up. I kind of had him, I counted it as having him there. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I can parry him if I mess up. I gotta, I gotta practice, oh, where'd you go? What the heck? Where are you? Hello. Oh, I, I didn't even know what direction you were pointing in there. There we go. Oh, wait, never mind. I guess maybe parrying doesn't work. What? See, like, I definitely... Because I... It's because, like, when I'm trying to move the sword into the right position, I move it too quickly. And as a result, it, like... Ooh, I don't like that. Where'd you go? There we go. As a result, when I move it like that, it just, um... There we go. Oh! 
Do it again, I wasn't looking. Come on. There we go. I gotta get rid of those fast. There we go. Get some hits on him that way. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Now I'm kind of getting it. It's all, this one's all about, like, positioning the sword correctly. And then if I can do that right, it's not too, too bad. There we go. Is that it? I think I'm getting, I'm slowly, slightly getting better at this. Enough of this foolishness. Honestly, I think the hardest part is when he's doing his hand thing, because, like, near the end of that first phase when he's moving his hand, I swear it's like he can block almost any of your attacks. You're a human child. How old is Link in this game? They mentioned, right? He's got to be, what, maybe, what, like, 16? Maybe 18? 18's not a child, man. Come on. Well, I, that's tough. You filthy scamp. <laughs> wow, gear him is, like, a savage in this game. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. Wow. Wait, is that not it? Or... His sword is really cool. It reminds me of the black lightsabers in Star Wars, which you don't very see very often, but when you do, they're super cool. Yay, heart container. That was it. Honestly, I think that went better than the first time I fought him, but I'm, I'm definitely getting used to it. I mean, that was also super early on when, like, I wasn't... I was still... I'm still getting a hang of the motion controls now, but that was especially early on when I was still trying to get used to it. Yeah, look at that. I'm actually... I mean, unless there's three rows of hearts in this game, I actually... I'm looking pretty solid there, but okay. Um, we're good here. Time to enter the door. Is that, is that supposed to be Din symbol? I don't, I don't remember all of the different symbols for the, the three goddesses. The Din, Nehru, and Furor. Okay. But we have the final Sacred Flame. I'll see if it makes my sword longer, maybe. That'd be cool. Even if the... Uh, I'll see about the digging one, but at least the bamboo island minigame. I still, I kind of want to figure out how to do that properly. That would be really good. Um, There's a big boy flame right there. Wow. Is Fi going to do her little dancing routine? Or is she going to do the routine where she literally attacks Link with fireballs? It's going to get crazy. She's like, Link, you ready to die? <laughs> He's like, okay. Obtain the flame. Yeah, she literally like attacks Link. It's crazy. She kind of goes berserk and absorbs the power of the flame. And then she's like, Link, you ready to die now? He's like, okay. <laughs> Block it, Link. See, imagine if he didn't block that. He, I think his face would literally melt. His face would just burn off. But there we go. That is a final sacred flame. I don't know how already. I mean, I guess it's been the fact that it's gone by a lot faster now because I've actually streamed three times this week, which is honestly, I think it's a first in a while. So, which is good. I'm glad I could. The flames... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, hold up. That really... I feel like the more a sacred white light that demons revile... Okay, so it emits a light now. That's really okay. It's really starting to look like the Master Sword now. But I'm guessing we still have to upgrade it. It really looks like the Master Sword now. Like, I'm already starting to see it, but it's still it's a little off, I think. Yeah. Then again, I don't know. That might actually be the, the full Master Sword now. Because he does have all the Triforce pieces now, right? See, that I don't get. Because isn't Link only supposed to always have the Triforce and Courage? So why is he also getting Wisdom and Power now? It has been tempered by the last of the Sacred Flames. Your blade has finally revealed its true form. Oh, okay, it is the... Okay, because I was going to say, it really looks like the... It is the Master Sword now. It is no longer the Goddess Sword. That's cool. With the Sword's great power, you can awaken the Gate of Time right within the Sealed Temple. That's exactly what I need to do next. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That is the next step, is to go over there. But, um... 9.30. Now, do I want to do anything right now? I probably don't want to... 
Yeah, I'm thinking I might just still want to. Uh, you know what? I will still... I'll go to... Um, I'll go back to Skyloft just to check it out there for a bit. but Because um, then I'll start with some side quests there next time. But um, is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think there's really anything else I want to do here. I mean, I'm sure there may be some goddess cubes nearby that I could get at some point. I mean, if I'm going to revisit these areas again, I might as well just get those goddess cubes then. Um, I'm, not, I'm definitely not doing the digging minigame again. I mean, to be honest, like, unless the reward is something, like, really, like, good besides just rupees, if it's, like, an actual, like, I don't know, an upgrade of some sort, or maybe that might be worth checking out at some point, but otherwise, I'm really not going to bother. I didn't get any more goddess cubes, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I'm just going to head back to Skyloft and then end the stream there. Because, yeah, I'm already at 9.30 p.m. Eastern my time, so... It'll be a little over two hours then. It'll be, like... I mean, kind of just some of the, the length of some of the other streams. I'm not... You know what? I'm not even going to try to intentionally make these streams longer because I don't really... Be, I don't like streaming more than two, two and a half hours just because, like... It's a lot of time to stream and it's, like... It's a work night and I'm just, like... You know, I want to I relax a, a little bit more with something besides just Skyward Sword. Um, for the rest of the night. You know I mean, I've been reading, uh, I just got, um, I had to order, I wanted to order a new cookbook, so I got a new cookbook with some recipes that I can make myself for dinners. Um, but I also got, um, the book called Console Wars with that, with, with, um, essentially, if you haven't heard of it, it's actually, it's older than I thought, I think it's from, like, 2014. Um, but essentially it's about, like, how, you know, the rivalry between Nintendo and Sega, you know, in the 90s, and how that kind of all went down, um. But it's really cool because it's technically, so far, it's a non-fiction book, but it's really, like... I'm just going to save and quit now, yeah. Um, it's interesting because it's really, like, almost writing it as, like, a fiction book where you would, like, follow, like, characters and stuff like that. It's portraying these real people as characters and kind of building a, nar uh, a narrative around that, which is actually really cool. Like, uh, to be honest, most books that I've read haven't done that before. Like, it's all... I don't know if it's all completely factual. Oh, I still have one more song to learn, too. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's all like 100% fact because a lot of it's taken from interviews and different people's perspectives. Um, like I think the one I'm reading about now is um, a man named Tom Kalinske. I think he was he became the president of Sega when the Genesis was big, I believe is what it was. But um, it's just cool because it's kind of um, looking at it from other people's perspectives that way and like writing it as if it was like a, a fictional book where you're following these characters. So I like it a lot. Um, I'd recommend it if you're kind of into that um, kind of stuff. It's, it's technically nonfiction but written in, in kind of a fictional way and it's also like have some really interesting stuff specifically than it uh rivalry between ugh, i can't even talk between nintendo and sega um so if you're into that kind of stuff there's, it's it's really good I, I like it a lot so far still have a long ways to go it's a long book it's like over 500 pages i think i wasn't expecting that but anyways that is gonna do it for the stream so thank you so much for watching if you did i know i know we didn't have a lot of live people tonight but that's okay um not like i said that schedules don't work for everybody um and i mean most people seem to that are watching these videos seem to watch the vods and like i appreciate that so hopefully you enjoyed this if you did watch the vod afterwards um like i say at every time i, I appreciate however however you watch these that's literally just me playing games and like if you're enjoying watching it then it's a win-win for everybody um but yeah so like i said i will not be streaming this weekend unfortunately i'm just i'm gonna be away i'm not gonna be able to stream either saturday or sunday night and i'm not streaming tomorrow night. i don't want to stream two days in a row i'm sorry um I want to get some other stuff done while I'm here and I have the time. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll be back Tuesday night. Tuesday's what? The, I think it's the 21st of September, I believe. I'll be back then at 7 p.m. Eastern time for more Skyward Sword HD. We'll uh, do some side quests and then head off to the sealed grounds. And I can probably, I wonder if I'm going to go into like a future version of those different areas. Because to go, well, or past, I don't know. I don't know if Zelda went back in time or forward. I'm not sure. Maybe even back. I don't know. Um, back, I guess, would make sense. But probably gonna have to go there and then also do some side quests while i'm still at skyloft so that should be good but until then enjoy your weekends enjoy the rest of this week and your weekends as well um take care of yourself spend time with friends and family whatever makes you happy make sure you do it make sure you take care of yourself too self-love is always good self-care is very important mental health is very important i'm learning that as i go and uh yeah it's um it's all good so until then i will see you i'll see you then and have a great weekend uh, I'll see you guys then. Take care.